Hello everyone and happy, happy, happy new year. Happy 2023. And welcome back to the recipe of the other week. The recipe of the other week. Welcome back to the recipe of the week. Welcome back to the recipe of the week. This is so exciting. We are starting a whole, whole, whole new year. Uh, I guess what's that saying? Uh, new year, new me. Oh, honey, I've already been new. But I am starting a new year, new recipe of the week. And I'm so super excited about it. I want to talk about something that I always talk about, but it is so relevant for where we are right now. Look at my shirt. Forgive them. This shirt is, I believe it's called Black Canvas black canvas i'm gonna put it in the comments uh but i think everybody should support this person i think he's local i think not sure just saw the shirt and it was a spiritual matter for me and it was just so in my spirit to get it so anyways forgiveness it is so very important to forgive life is so super short one of our, one of my co-workers passed away just um saturday morning Lord have mercy. Lord, uh, life is just so extremely, extremely short. I'm saying all that to say, if there's someone that you have not forgiven, your mother, your father, a sister, a brother, a cousin, somebody that you're holding on that grudge and you just cannot seem to let it go, let it go. You can forgive them um, and not have dealings with that person. Forgiveness is not, it's not an outer thing. Forgiveness is an inner thing. Forgiveness um, heals you from the inside out. Forgiveness is loving unconditionally. You don't love people on conditions or not love people on conditions because they did something to me. I don't love them anymore. I, I, there's a lot of people that I still, 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 still love but I, I don't have dealings with them. And that's totally okay. That's okay. Uh, you can love people from a distance. I believe that. And you can forgive people and not and not have dealings with the person. I, I, I totally believe that. You can for, forgive them. One of my uh, pastors, my journey of being a Christian, I was at this church called River of Life. Pastor Jeff was prophesying to me. It's when I first, very first met him. And he was prophesying to me. And one of the things that he said to me that my mother says all the time, uh, Pastor Jeff says, the one thing about you is you don't hold grudges and you love people regardless of what they do, what they say or how they treat you. And he was so on point because my mom says that all the time to anybody. She says that that is my one child that uh, she does not hold grudges regardless of what people do. And I can say over the years, people have done stuff. I'm 50 years old, soon turning 51 this month. Happy birthday to me. Um, people do stuff to me and I it stings, it hurts, but I forgive. I forgive and, and I move on. And that's what the, the recipe of the week is about. Forgive. Uh, people do not believe this, but unforgiveness, somebody say unforgiveness. Unforgiveness causes poverty in your bank account. Come on, somebody. Unforgiveness causes sickness in your body because you're holding on to something and sickness begins to manifest in your body like migraines lord have mercy like cancer sometimes like just all types of diseases forgive i cannot say that enough forgive 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 you and that person may not ever cross paths again or even talk to each other love on them bless them pray for them forgive them that's what the recipe of the week is about for give them and not just lip service because you have to lean and depend on the lord he's the only person who can help you get through this matter because you can have lip service all day long but honey your action shows different you have to love people in spite of what they do what they say how they treat you you have to do it. Forgive them. So the recipe of the week is coming from Matthew chapter six. And I'm going to read the message version. I was loving this message, message version when I was studying it. 
but I admonish you to go back and read several, several different, um, several different uh, versions of this. I'm so excited. I'm just stumbling all, all over my words, but I'm super excited about being back with the recipe of the week, sharing God's word. I love to share the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord reads, that is Matthew 6, message version. It's going to be 7, verse 7 through 15. And the word of the Lord reads, the world is full of so-called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant. See, the, the, the headings talks about fasting and praying. Let me read that again. The world is full of so-called prayer warriors who are prayer ignorant. They're full of formulas and programs and advice, peddling techniques for greeting what you want from God. Getting what you want from God. Don't fall for that nonsense. This is your father you are dealing with and he knows better than you what you need. With a God like this loving you, you can pray very simply like this. Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are. Set the world right. Do what's best as above, so below. Keep us alive with three square meals. Keep us forgiving, forgiving with you and forgiving others. This Bible Keep us safe from ourselves and the devil. Come on, somebody. You're in charge. Yes, he is. You can do anything you want. You're ablaze in beauty. Yes, yes, yes. I love the verse, uh, the uh, message version. 14 through 15, concentration scriptures. 14 through 15, Matthew 6. In prayer... There is a connection between what God does and what you do. You can't, let me say that again. You can't get forgiveness from God, for instance, without, somebody say without, also forgiving others. If you refuse to do your part, you cut yourself off from God's part. My God, let me read that again. In prayer, there is a connection between what God does and what you do. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't get forgiveness from God, for instance, without also forgiving others. If you refuse to do your part, you cut yourself off from God's part. Right here. Forgive them. It's just as simple as that. Forgive them. Ask the Lord to help you through it. He can do all things well. Somebody say it with me. He can do all things well. Yes, it did hurt. Yes, it did sting. It did. Uh, yes, you felt betrayed, let down, uh, disappointed disappointment, all of the above. But God is bigger. He is greater. He is God. Uh, one of my worship songs, I'm going to play just a little bit uh, of it uh, because he loves you so much. He wants what's best for you, the very best for you, the very best for you, and he loves you. Got to forgive. Got to forgive. <laughs> No greater love. That's no greater love. No greater love. No greater love. To me, there is none great. There's no greater love. He loves you so much. Forgive. Your love for me is forever. Forgive, forgive, forgive. The same love that He gives you. Let it flow through you. Forgive. Forgive. Forgive on today. Forgive. 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 So, Father, on today, we thank you. We honor you. We bless you. We thank you for crossing and carrying us over to a new year. Father, we pray for the families of the people that did not make it over, oh God. I pray for April Brown's family. 
right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't understand, but God, we say we trust you. We don't understand, Father, but we say we trust you, God. We don't understand the death of April Brown, but God, we say we trust you. God, on today, if there's someone, Lord God, out there, oh God, that has not forgiven, Lord God, walk them through it, Lord God. Created all of us clean and pure hearts on a daily basis, God. We want to walk in your grace. We want to walk in your mercy and your love, oh God. We will love just like you. We will talk like you, Lord God. Walk like you, oh God. We will forgive, but we can only do that through you. Father, help us to forgive. Your word says so, that we need to forgive and you will forgive us. Father, we honor you and we thank you, Lord God. Bless us and keep us through this 2023 year. Father, we thank you, we honor you, and we love you, God, in Jesus' name. You guys have a beautiful week. Remember, forgive. It's going to be stirring in your spirit. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Also, look up this um, this guy that, that's selling these, sh these shirts, these sweatshirts, and honor and bless his, his business. Um, I believe his, I believe, I may be wrong. I believe his name is Justin Draper, I think. But if you look up Forgive Them Sweatshirt, it should come up on Google. But I'll put it in the comments. You guys have an amazing week. Love you, but most of all, most of all, he loves you greater and much bigger than I ever could. Bless you.